Next time you have a patient with a hip fracture, consider citing a preoperative supraingrinal fascia iliaca catheter. Hip fractures are very painful and analgesia needs to be sufficient to allow patients to undergo care comfortably. There is strong evidence that regional analgesia results in better quality pain relief. Patients require less opioid analgesia and therefore have fewer side effects. Studies have shown improved postoperative mobility and less delirium with regional analgesia. The fascia iliaca compartment block targets the femoral and lateral femoral cutaneous nerves and may even block the obturator nerve. A single shot block will last for approximately 8 hours, so your patients will be sore again when it wears off. Using a catheter technique prolongs the block to provide analgesia for the pre, intra and post-operative periods. We use a supraingrinal approach to fascia iliaca blocks. It results in more proximal spread of local anaesthetic, giving better analgesia, and it's easier to thread a catheter in this position. After explaining the procedure to the patient and gaining consent, apply monitoring to AAGBI standards and prepare your equipment. You will need a skilled assistant, an ultrasound machine with a high frequency linear probe, equipment for full asepsis as per AAGBI guidance. A regional analgesia catheter kit. We are using a 50mm TUI needle with ultrasound etching for improved visibility, local anaesthetic for the block and for skin infiltration, equipment for catheter fixation and sterile dressings. After preparing aseptically, start by placing the ultrasound probe on the anterior superior iliac spine with the kephalad end of the probe pointing slightly towards the umbilicus. Now slide the probe along the axis of the inguinal ligament until the belly of iliacus muscle is seen. You don't have to move far, here we're only one or two centimetres away from the asis. Keep the bone in the middle of the screen, you can see the iliacus and the fascia iliaca on top. You don't always see a bright white line, if this happens small movements of the probe can help identify the top edge of the iliacus muscle. The view might be improved by rotating the probe one way or the other, or by tilting the probe away from you slightly. Before picking up the needle, Perform a stop before you block check to ensure you are on the correct side. Inject some local anaesthetic to numb the skin. Taking your block needle, insert it through the skin, then advance under ultrasound guidance. You will feel the pop as it pierces the fascia lata, and another as it pierces the fascia iliaca. The TUI needle is quite blunt, which makes it easier to appreciate the fascial planes. However, it can be quite tough to get through some patients' fascia. Try not to use too much force. If you overshoot, your needle is likely to go into the bulk of the muscle, giving an inadequate block. Check the needle position by injecting 1mm. If you see intramuscular spread, withdraw your needle and try again. Sometimes it is easier to withdraw and pop through the fascia again. Advance your needle a little into the space you have created. When the local anaesthetic is injected in this plane, it tracks between the fascia iliaca and the top of the iliacus muscle down into the pelvis towards the lumbar plexus. This is a compartment block and therefore needs enough volume injected to expand the space and spread to all the nerves. We use 40 mL of levobupivacaine 2.5 mg per mL. Be careful not to exceed the maximum safe dose. In patients weighing less than 50 kg, we typically reduce the dose to 30 mL. You can dilute the lower dose with saline to give greater volume. Now that the space has been expanded by the local, you should be able to thread the catheter into it easily. Leave it 5 to 10 centimeters beyond the tip of the needle. It can be difficult to see the catheter with the ultrasound. To check it's in the right position, just give it a little wiggle. Observe for movement in the same plane as you were looking for the local anaesthetic spread down into the pelvis. Remove as much of the gel as possible. Skin glue prevents the catheter from becoming misplaced. Tincture of benzoin on the skin helps the dressings to stick and it smells nice too. Fix the catheter as super immediately as you can to try and avoid the surgical field. Attach the infusion pump for continuous analgesia. We use levobupivacaine 1.25 mg per mil set at a rate of 8 mL per hour. For intraoperative pain relief top up the catheter with 20 mL of levobupivacaine 2.5 mg per mil. We run the catheters for 3 days post-op. So next time you have a patient with a hip fracture, try a fascia iliaca catheter. Your patients will thank you for it.